In this video, let's learn the recursive solution to finding the factorial of a number. Here is the problem statement. Given an integer n, find the factorial of that integer. In case you've forgotten what factorial is, the factorial of a non-negative integer n, denoted n exclamation, is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. Also, the factorial of 0 is 1. We've had a look at examples in the earlier video. Factorial of 4 is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24. And similarly, factorial of 5 is 120. If you've understood the problem statement, please pause the video and try solve it. Remember, you have to make use of recursion. And when solving problems with recursion, 1. Figure out how to break down the problem into smaller versions of the same problem, and 2. Identify the base case to exit the infinite flow of code. Alright, let's now solve the problem together. We know that the factorial of a non-negative integer n is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. If we have to calculate 5 factorial, it is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Similarly, 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Along those lines, we have 3 factorial, 2 factorial and 1 factorial as well. 0 factorial is equal to 1, which is a fact in mathematics. Let's now try to identify a pattern. Leaving aside 0 factorial, we can see that 1 factorial is 1 multiplied by 0 factorial and 2 factorial is 2 multiplied by 1 factorial. Similarly, 3 factorial is 3 multiplied by 2 factorial, 4 factorial is 4 multiplied by 3 factorial and 5 factorial is 5 multiplied by 4 factorial. If we generalize this, we can say that n factorial is equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial. I want you to pause for a minute and make sure it is valid as this is pretty much the logic we need. We now have all that we need to solve a recursive problem. We have broken down the problem into smaller versions of the same problem and we also have our base case which is the fact that 0 factorial is equal to 1. Let's go back to Replit and implement the approach. Once again, we have an empty file index.js. Let's begin by defining the function signature. Function recursive factorial parentheses curly braces the function will have one parameter n whose factorial we have to calculate for example calling the function with n equal to 0 1 and 5 should return 1 1 and 120 respectively now what do we know about our recursive solution we know that n factorial is n times n minus 1 factorial. So within the function body, return n times recursive factorial of n minus 1. Next, we need to add a base case to stop the infinite execution. And what is our base case? Well, 0 factorial is equal to 1. So we can start the function with that base case. If n is equal to 0, return 1. And that completes our recursive factorial solution. Let's verify by running the code we see the three values corresponding to each function call. 
our code works as expected. What I would like you to do is take a pen and paper and trace the function execution for n is equal to 5. That will give you a more clear understanding of the code we have written. Let's now calculate the time complexity. Going back to our slide, we can see that for n is equal to 2, we call the function twice. For n is equal to 3, we call the function three times. For n is equal to 4, four times. And for n is equal to 5, five times. As n increases, the number of instructions executed increases at the same pace. So big O is linear time complexity in the case of recursive factorial of a number. Big O is equal to O of n. All right, with that, we come to the end of our section on math algorithms. The intention was to make you familiar with problem solving and introduce the concept of recursion. Hopefully, you now feel a little more confident dealing with algorithms in JavaScript. With that being said, let's jump to the next section in this course, which is about search algorithms. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.